night! Welcome back to the old Bilsif show, eh? Friggin' right, boys. Well, I just got back from London, I did. I got myself a new UDR body, which I've already put a coat of the old Paderewski on her, boys. Oh, don't worry, she's got plastic on her, so she'll come off, she will. Just sprayed her gray, she's gonna get wrecked anyways. So I got a charcoal gray body there for the UDR. Picked up a new X-Max body, which is uh, all painted up, boys. Look at that, eh? Freaking decent, just gonna put the decals on her once I get the old sticker rooskies off. So I got that. I picked up a used body mount for 30 bucks, because I'm cheap, why wouldn't I? Because that one's cocked, freaking right it is. I got some decals for the UDR new body, boys. I got some decals for the old X-Max, boys. Freaking right I did. Got a whole bunch of them. More stickers. I've got new upper shock towers because that one's almost dick, boys. There's not much left of that one, eh? She's about ready to break, she is. So I got new of them for that. So I'll just throw them at that. I've got new UDR tire mounts, boys. The metal ones, eh? Because the calipers fall off and the plastic ones are dicked. So it doesn't take long to dick them over. So I figured I'd just get some metal ones of that. I've got a steering arm for the old TRX foreskins. Freaking right I do, boys. So we'll throw that on and then I'll have the steering back in that. But I also got the drive shaft arms for the old slasher Ruski. So I can friggin' maybe put that back together real soon. And then I can do a super duper backflip, eh, boys? But all my bodies are gonna be gray. I know some of you said they don't like it, but hey, it is what it is, boys. That one's gray, friggin' right it is. That one's gray, friggin' right it is. That one's gonna be gray and black and everything else. Friggin' right, and that one's gonna be gray, boys. We're gonna have matching RCs, boys. And the paint I use to paint it is this stuff right here. Durable engine paint, boys. Ain't nothing like some good engine paint on the old plastic bodies, boys. It's durable, it is. So I used that. Why wouldn't I? No prepping involved, eh? Just grab her and paint her. Friggin' right I did. Cares if it flakes off. The body, it's gonna outlast the body, I'll tell you that right now. So I'm not the kind of guy that gets really involved with decking out bodies except for the crawler, boys, because it doesn't get bashed. So the crawlers, you can play around a little bit. Same with this one, the Slash Ruski, I went a little overboard on it. When I do my backflip, boys, the body's gonna have to come off because I'm not gonna wreck a body in like five minutes. Why the frig would I? But I'm just sitting back here, getting organized because I got RCs everywhere, as you can see. I got RCs and golf carts and whatnots and this and that's and everywhere. It's frig right to do. I'm gonna maybe throw you up here and I wanna get the TRX4 aluminum arm in. So we'll do that tonight. We'll do a little RC shot with Bill someday. Why wouldn't we, boys? It'll be friggin' decent. So I gotta clear a spot here somewhere because I got so much shit laying around right now. I can clean this bench up and in five minutes it's all cocked over again. Hey, here's my coffee for this morning. I wonder if it's still warm. Mmm, decent boys, it's still warm. So I got a coffee to drink now too. Friggin' right I do. So we'll move this. What's this? One plug this, get that out of the way. Put that over there. We'll move this, move this, move that. Move that, move the stickers. And we'll get the TRX4. So, the good old TRX 4s, boys. They have plastic arms and they're just dick tape. Hey? You just wreck them instantly. So, I said, that's enough of that crap because I cock it over every freaking day I do. I wish I cocked it over every day. Wouldn't that be great, boys? Girls, peoples? How many? No, I won't even go there. Forget it. So, we'll take this off like so. We got to remove the servo to do this, we do. So, we'll remove the old servo ruski like so. Actually, we should take that off first. Make sure you take off the one on the steering arm first. Get it out of the way. So, we'll pull that off. Can you see? Probably not. We'll pull that off. Pull this off first, boys. Okay, freaking right you should. Put that over there. We'll flip her around. That will fall apart. Decent. Ow. Freak. We'll take a staple and shove it into her finger. Why wouldn't we? And we're going to have to power it up for this deal to see where center is on the old steering mechanism. I shouldn't even move that on my way. It'd probably be easier. Ah, forget about it. So I'm running the, as you can see, 20 kilogram steel servo in the old TRX 4 skins. Nothing like a good 4 skins, boys. I don't even have a 4. Why would I? Anyways, too much information, boys. Get a little personal, there we are. Quit asking me questions like that. Frig sakes, you pigs. Friggin' right you are. So we'll get that off like that. We'll pull this off like this. We'll take this plastic one and we'll give her a garbage can. I miss, boys, just so you know. Why wouldn't I? And we'll get out the aluminum one, boys. Oh, yeah. Freaking yeah, we did. I like doing this stuff, I do. Goes in like so. So we want it like so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boys. Holy, she's a tight one, she is. That one's not gonna friggin' break. So now I need a battery. Any old battery will do. Where the hell's my batteries, boys? Here's one. This will work. So we'll slap the old battery on here, like so. We'll get the TRX4 remote, which is Frig Defino, Bubba. Frig Defino. They're all over the place, they are. TRX4, where are you? Well, here you are. Turn her on. We'll turn her on, boys. 
There we go. I'm gonna slap this down in here for now, like so. Get the wires out of the damn way. And we'll find center. So, uh oh, something's going on here, boys. We haven't got a connection. What happened? This battery must be freaking dead, boys. Better charge that right now. Put that down there. I've got batteries all over the place, I do. So I'll slap it in. And I'll fire it back up. Boys, what's going on here, Jim? Oh, careful! Why is that servo not working? Did I take out the servo? Well, the other servo's working. That's working. Uh oh. That was good. Boys. Might have cocked over the servo. I might have. Oh, no. Oh, well, I happen to have another one to do, but let's uh, pull this cover off here and we'll diagnose and see what's going on. Because I don't understand why that servo would be not working. Oh, something happened. Oh, oh. I got a bad connection, I do. There we go, I had a bad connection I did. So we're gonna have to clean that up, friggin' right we are. So by the looks of this, she's not in the right spot. So let's pull that off. We'll center up the old steer ruski. Decent. Oh, friggin' right, listen to that, eh? That's friggin' decent. So we'll slap this back in. Actually, we'll slap this back on. We'll slap that back in, just to guess her, boys. I mean, we're guessing away we are. Then we'll slap this over here like this, and we'll see where center is. Holy shit, did I get it the first try? Friggin' right I did. So that's where it goes, right freaking there. We can put the screw back in that part. Careful, tighten her down. The servo back in, we'll put the screws back in. My fingers will work. All my tools are downstairs if you're wondering why I'm using Allen keys just out of the old junk drawer over there. All my tools are downstairs, I didn't feel like go getting them to be honest with you. I just want to get her done, hey? Get her done, son. So at least one's done. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I gotta tighten that screw back down. Don't let me forget to tighten down the screw where the uh, doodad is, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, the doodad. And she friggin' goes, Jim. I gotta fix that. I need a zip tie or something for that. We'll slap this screw back down so we don't lose it when we flip it upside down. This is due for a coat of uh, WD, she is. Flip it over, and we'll line up the steering, and we'll slap in the old steering screw that comes prepared with Loctite. Why wouldn't it? Oh, oh, boys. Wobble dobble, eh? Careful. Freaking train. I'll get this done while the train's going by, boys. There we go, eh? Ah, oh, yeah, decent. Hey, I got clearance now, too. See, I had one in here that didn't belong there, so it wouldn't turn all the way this way. But now it does. Look at the turn radius on that thing now, boys. Decent. I'm gonna be able to climb the side of a mountain, I am. Still turns sharper that way. Maybe not. So there we go, that's all there is to do in putting an aluminum arm in there for the old steering on the TRX 4 skids. So we gotta give this thing a bath, but not right now, so we'll just slap the body on her for now, boys, and uh, call that one a day. There we go. So there's a TRX 4, ready to go. Now what we gotta do is we gotta pull hobby wing set on the old uh, Axial, boys, because like I said, I stripped the gear skin, and that's probably not the right size, sure ain't. So hopefully I have everything I need right here to do this job, but uh, my luck, probably not. I already think I don't have the right tools to do this job. Oh, leg. But then again, you never know, eh? Yeah, we do. So we'll take these screws out, drive, drive, cover, like so, right like so. And there's one more voice, I think it's right down in here it is. Right on through here, eh? Let's see if we can find it. Eh. Oh, there it is. Pull this cover off, and there's what we need to get at. There's everything we need right there. So first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna pull the motor off. Because like I said, there's only one screw holding the motor on. These tools are garbage, boys, just so you know. Friggin' right there. Like, what the fuck is going on there? What is that? So we gotta turn the motor until we see the Allen key, which is there. We gotta pull that pulley off. Decent. Set that there, we'll pull the motor out, we'll look at it. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good, yep, yep. Feels good, decent, throw it back in. We'll put the screw back in it. We're gonna go for the bottom hole first, boys, because it's hard to get to. I just wanna get it started, I do. I don't wanna put it all the way in. Get her started, boys. Am I close? Fuck, did I get the first shot? No way, I couldn't have. Holy shit, I did, boys. I got her on the first ghost key. So now I gotta find the original screw for the other side. Is like finding a needle in that friggin' haystack. Especially with these eyes. My eyes are just cocked. I wanna make sure you don't put too deep of a screw in these motors. Brain out again, boys. Wonder if my neighbors are listening to me talk to myself. Why wouldn't they? So I'll just get it started for now, just to hold the motor kind of where I want it. And we'll look for the original pulley, which should be this guy right here. So see, that's why it was skipping. Look at the size of the pulley differences, eh? They're huge, huge difference. Slide this onto the old shaft of Ruski. Now, wanna make sure 
the flat spot is where you want it. On the shaft. Of the motor. Because you put the Allen key on the flat spot of the shaft. So the flat spot is fucked if I know where. Boys, I can't see. Here, let's get out the big ones. Get out the big guns. The flat spot is right here. Okay. So what we need to do is we need a slider on. Holy shit, that looks like a small gear, but that's the only one I got, boys. So that's got to be it. Feel the old Mesheruski, which is right about there. I just want to feel it, boys. See if you got a little bit of play. You don't want it tight. Some people use paper for this. But the dirty old Elsif. He goes by feel, he does. I'm a feel kind of guy, I am. Oh, beautiful mesh. A crawler is not really high speed, so you want a pretty tight mesh. It's not like the bashers where when you land, you want a little bit of play in it. I find with the, the rock crawlers, they're not fast, so I would definitely uh, make the mesh a little tighter on them. But not too tight. You don't want it to be bindy because then it's hard on the motor. You just want it nice and smooth. See? Just like that, boys. So, now that that's done, plug her in and we'll make sure it's working with a battery, which is in the car still. Better with the gas tank, boys. Holy shit, boys, I'm fixing two RCs in one night, I am. Can you freaking believe it? I can't. Power up. Holy, I'm blind, boys. Steering works, decent. Oh, we got a jerk. Oh, oh. Got a jerk, boys. Careful. Oh, careful. Oh, yeah. Freaking jerk. Oh, yeah. Boys. Oh, oh, hold on, boys. See, we got some, there we go. We got some trim action to do here, we do. Careful. I think the kids were playing with that, they were. But anyways, boys, this is a Hobby Wing brushless censored system I got in this crawler. And uh, I've told you this before, but for you new people, it's the 1800 kV motor in there. But watch, watch how slow these tires turn, boys, with this, with this brushless motor. Look at that. Tell me that's not friggin' decent. No chatter in the motor at all. Smooth, smooth, boys. Friggin' right it is. But anyways, I wanted to show you that because that's pretty cool. They work good, they do. So now that that's done, we can slap this cover back on again. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put the bottom one in because it's the easiest to get to. Easiest one to get to. Frig's eights. Now, I like both these crawlers. To be totally honest with you, I'm a Tractus fan for sure, but this thing here crawls really nice, it does. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful crawler, but I'm really spoiled with the diff locks on the fly. She seems a little smoother than this one, eh? But that's how, how it sets up too. It's all on how the setup is, and this, this suspension here is pretty wore out, so I don't wanna say it's because of the truck, but the TRX4 is definitely, I like better, but they both have hobby wings and they're both awesome systems, so they both run awesome. So I'm not bashing anybody because the Traxxas doesn't have a Traxxas ESC or motor and the axle doesn't have a axle motor or ESC. So there you go. I like the hobby wing I do. Nothing like a good hobby wing. -y. So now that's done, we can slap this body on and uh, it's pretty much ready to go boys. So there we go. We got two ready to go now we do. Decent. Who wants to come rock crawling with me tomorrow? Leave a comment below, why wouldn't you? Don't forget to subscribe and like too and hit that notification bell bar button if you like in the shot with Bills of RCA. Why wouldn't you? I should just throw this friggin' UDR out in the rain because it's raining. Look at that thing, boys, from the other night. What's really going on? Oh my God. Oh, she just a mess. Friggin' right it is. Oh, boys. Decent. So we gotta clean this thing up, we do. Check everything over, lube the shocks, check the front end. Check all that. Like I said, clean her up. And uh, what I got, boys, if you're wondering, if you're new to the RCs, good old Kevin Talbot there will know exactly what I'm doing. And uh, RC Sparks will know what I'm doing. And uh, Steve-O will probably know what I'm doing. And a lot of you other guys will probably know what I'm doing. But for you new guys, this is what I'm doing, boys. So stock on these UDRs, it comes with this plastic lock thing for your tire. And it comes with a caliber to kind of hold that on. So what happens is the caliber breaks off, Causes that to move around a little bit. Causes the pin in the middle to actually chew the center right out of that. So it allows the tire ends up being a free spinning. So to fix that problem, well look at the rear end boys. Holy, this poor old thing. Anyways, to fix this problem boys, you buy the aluminum ones, or actually these are steel, sorry I should say. So what you do with them is you end up taking that out, that out, and you leave it out and you just put this in and the pin goes in it and the tire holds it on and you have no more loss of that. So that's why I got them. So we're gonna do a change up on that. We're gonna change this back arm on the X-Max because I got a new one. 
because it's just about ready to go boys so we better change that before it's too late we're gonna deck out the new body for it we're gonna deck out the new body for that we're gonna get the slasher ruski back together with that other piece and then we'll be all set but that's for another video it is i just wanted to get back on here because it's been a long day and i worked all day and then went to london to get these parts and this and that and the other thing so it's been a long day boys hopefully everybody's having a good day and doing as much stuff as i'm doing because it's freaking decent rc freaking heaven over here boys don't forget to subscribe and like like i said and hit that notification bell bar button and we'll see you tomorrow have a good night boys and uh you know what to do for now uh -huh.